Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Battlefield 5 and today I would like to talk about the Medic class. Now, the Medic is known for already, in fact, being the worst class in Battlefield 5 and I can agree that it's probably the worst. You know, the fast revivability is nice and the fact that you can double up on smoke grenades and the smoke rifle is pretty nice actually. I find that it's really useful to double up on those. But when it comes to the guns, man, like, I just haven't found an SMG I like. Now, I've only played um, enough to where I have an MP40. Um, I have the Sten and the Sukomi and the MP40. That's all I got. But I can already say, like, the guns suck for this Medic class. Like, they suck really bad. The only thing that I would say that the medic class has going for it is you can reload fast, and that's not saying much. So, I always thought, you know, the medic class is probably the worst, but is it really that bad? That's a question that I think I'm asking myself. And I think that the medic class may be the worst class, but I don't think it's that, it's not as bad as we think it is. Let me explain. So you have the double smoke grenades, which means that you have the double option to take a uh, medic and rush an objective or hang back and revive teammates. You can do either or. Oh, yeah. um, what I think would be cool and what I have not tried out yet is having a full squad of medics and just smoking an entire area and going in with an SMG at close range. Because the SMG hip fire and ADS is pretty accurate. ADS not so not as much as the other guns, but the hip fire is really accurate. Then also, you have infinite health packs. I think this ability goes underrated a lot when it comes to the medic, because infinite health packs mean that you have a guaranteed shot at fast healing. And that's I think why the medic guns kind of suck so bad, is because of the fact that you can heal yourself every single time and everyone around you every time to 100 health. None of the other classes have this ability. In fact, I've died because I can't buff myself up to 100 health. I remember one time I was playing as Assault and I was using like the M1A1 with a scope. And I was just killing people and I got down to like 4 health and I could only regen up to I think it was like the 44 or whatever. Whatever the like limit was for Assault. And I was like, well, I'm screwed because I might get shot a bunch. And I, then I, I ended up dying because I didn't have enough health to combat um, against someone else who had more health than me. So the, the medic's ability to heal as many times as they want, if you use the small box, if you use the big box, it's a little different. But I think that ability goes underrated because it really helps a medic stay alive. I think... Even though the medic's guns aren't too good, I think that as a medic, I stay alive the longest when I play medic. And the medic's guns, they're not that bad if you use them inside of a building. Like, I feel like close range, pushing and clearing out of cover is really the role that the medic uses. And it kind of makes sense to me because you have the assault class, which is the versatile class, and the support class, and support and recon together are really long range and I would argue that support isn't really meant to push, it's more meant to hold. And so then you have the medic class which is the dedicate push class. I honestly think that when it comes to the support and recon, you know, support you hold stuff down and recon is actually the more of a support class than support. But the medic, you know, you just go push, 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 push. But it doesn't help that the fact that most of the maps on Battlefield 5, if you don't add fortifications to them, if you leave the fortifications bare, most of the maps are pretty long range. So I think that's why Medic seems like it's not good. But I think in the long run, Medic being a slightly underpowered class and eventually maybe just a little bit of a buff to some of the guns, I think Medic will eventually become balanced. And I think it's just because of the maps right now. A lot of uh, long range maps, and a lot of maps where building the fortifications isn't really worth it to some people because, I mean, I know for me, if I'm an assault and I see someone hide behind a fortification and there's no vehicles around, I'm gonna blow up the fortification. 
It's very simple. That's what you do as a soul sometimes. Even the support with the grenade launcher. What do you want? So I think that medic is not as bad as we make it seem to be, but I think it's still a bad... Uh, not, I don't think it's a bad class. I think it's an okay class. It's not the it's. It is the worst class, but it's not as bad as we as it seems to be. With that double smoke grenade ability that you can have, and the fact that you can just heal yourself all the time, I think it balances it out. And the needle, I mean, the needle is really nice too. So let me know what you think in the comments below about the medic class in Battlefield Five. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, blog, or Steam and post of whatever I decide to make.